Okay, here we go. Keep in mind, almost anyone can create sales on Amazon. The screenshot that shows $10 million in sales in 30 days doesn't necessarily mean the business is profitable. Remember I told you early on, you must manage your Amazon business for profit, not for sales, all right? So in secret number three, I'm gonna show you how to be absolutely sure that you're squeezing every ounce of profit from your sales. This is how it happened for me. When one of my first products took off, we were selling like gangbusters, but we weren't making any profit. This was so frustrating because all of my competitors were making money and they were bragging about it online. What did they know that I didn't? At first, I wanted to just kill this product, move on, start over something new. I was fed up and literally scared. And then this is what happened. I went back to the basics, my friend. There are only three ways to make more profit from an existing business that I know of. Number one, you can create more sales by adding more customers or getting existing customers to buy more. Duh, it's a no brainer, right? Or two, you can sell your product at a higher price. Or three, you can lower your cost of goods or your cost of selling those goods. Or you can do all three. Here's what I did. We found out first that the product was just one little tiny inch oversized, and therefore we were paying an extra $3 or so to be fulfilled by Amazon. This was a really big deal on a $12 selling product. We had our supplier make a new model that was just a tad bit shorter, but didn't affect the usability of the product. The cost for doing this was nothing to us, but just a little bit of time. But it added an extra $3 to our profit. We repositioned that same product into a deeper niche within the overall space and was able to raise the price to $17. Again, our cost was nothing, but our extra profit was $5. Hey, Sean, your audio is no good. So good. You can hear me, but you're still like right now. No, it's, it's very sync. It's very sync. Um, yeah, you so go. you good now? <laughs> All right. So we repositioned the product, like I said, deeper into that niche, you know, with some specific targeting. And we were able to raise the price from $12 to $15, right? Again, like I said, the cost for doing that was nothing, but it added an extra profit of $5 to our bottom line. Here's what else happened. We found that we were buying the product through a stinking middleman and we were paying just a dollar over the actual cost from the factory. So we went direct to the factory and our cost for this was nothing. It don't cost anything to go direct. You just have to do a little research. But we were able to add another dollar to our bottom line. After we sold more quantity, our supplier lowered the price again by another 40 cents. That's another 40 cents in my pocket, right? Now, we also market other products to those customers and get 15 to 20% more sales from this. Our cost is very minimal for sending emails, but the gain is immeasurable. Remember I told you you must own the customer list? This is one of the many reasons why. We literally went from paying $5.50 for this product and selling it for $12, making only 70 cents net profit at the end of the day, to paying about $3 for the same product, just a little bit smaller, and selling it for $17 for a profit of $9.45 each. And now we have a system in place for this process on every single product that we sell. And so can you, thanks to Quick Fast Hurry. We love showing people how to squeeze maximum profits out of the profit products that they're already selling. I've never to this day seen any product selling online that I can't buy cheaper, sell for a higher price, and sell more of using the same principles that took me years and years to learn. Just imagine if every single time you put $3 into a slot machine, $9.45 come out, how often would you want to pull the handle? 
hopefully as many times as you can, right? You would, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Are you loving this? You're loving this, right? Say yes in the question box while I tell you about Daryl's story. I sponsored Daryl into his Amazon physical products business a few years ago. Daryl lived, slept, ate, and breathed his business, literally. He actually rented a closet in the back of our warehouse just so he could be close to the action. Pretty smart move. Daryl did every single thing that we taught him and had a pretty darn good business if you only look at sales. Bad, right? Daryl was selling $50,000 per month in no time, but he wasn't making any profit. Maybe you can relate. He was paying way too much. He was selling too cheap, and he wasn't doing any remarketing at all until he started digging a little bit deep. He found, first of all, thousands of dollars were wasted on product cost and even more on lost sales. This is what Daryl did. Daryl quickly turned his little $50,000 a month Amazon business into a $150,000 per month cash machine by simply doing exactly what I've just shown you. And guess what? You can too. You knew that was coming, right? Daryl was a simple-minded farmer with an antique MacBook computer and absolutely no business experience before he started. He was actually milking cows and stacking hay. And now, thanks to this strategy, he has a brand spanking shiny new green tractor. And so can you.